welcome to Get Moving. I am Anna and as it is a week before Christmas and um, let you into a secret, we probably won't be doing Fitness Friday next, um, next Friday on Christmas Day. So I'm getting all festive and I have my um, Christmas um, antlers. I'm not quite sure what they are, can you see? My Christmas antlers on. So I'm going to try and do Get Moving Fitness Friday with my antlers on. We'll see how long they last. Um, anyway, Get Moving is all about exercise for people with limited mobility. It's actually everybody can do um, these exercises. They are suitable for, for most people. You can do them seated or standing and I'll show you the variations but actually we can all benefit from moving a bit more. And Fitness Friday is all about getting out of breath and staying out of breath. So we up the pace a little bit on a Friday. You do what you can do um, and try and keep up with me or work harder than me, go a bit faster than me. Karen yesterday talked about um, thinking about the different speed of doing the exercises. Today is definitely about your job is getting your heart rate up and your breathing rate up, which is equally as important as working through our other muscles um, and the other joints in our body. So um, it is your job to get out of breath and stay out of breath and my job to help you do that today. So we will be working through our normal exercises. Um, if you need to check out some of the archives of uh, Get Moving videos, then go and check on, the, the website is gonna miraculously appear in the, the comments now, I know that the fingers of fire will be sorting that out. So when the website pops up, you can go on there and have a look at some of the different sessions on different days with the different themes. Um, but Fitness Friday is all about getting you out of breath. Um, so I think I've um, witted on enough now um, to let some of you arrive. So we will... Um, crack on because as ever I'm in my dungeon and it um, is not that warm and um, I'm just going to warn you as well I have a little visitor so I have Blue my Springer Spaniel who is <laughs> thank you Brian I could... yes I should have put a red nose on as well shouldn't I I should have done anyway I was telling you I have Blue my Springer Spaniel um, in the in the dungeon with me his two the rest, of, I'm going to say his brothers, but we have Pepper, who's a girl, and um, they're off on a big walk, big long walk, and he's he's not able to do a, a mega, mega long walk, so he's keeping me company. He might just make an appearance. If he sits still, quietly, in the corner for the whole session, it will be a miracle. But we'll see. We will cope with whatever we have to cope with. So, we're doing 30 seconds of each exercise, and um, we're going to start with marching. Um, so, if you are seated... Sitting nice and tall, up out of your chair, away from your backrest. So we're not going to be relying on the backrest and slumping down. We're sitting nice and tall. Shuffle your bottom to towards the edge of the chair. Not so that you're going to fall off, but certainly so that you are sitting tall, independently away from the backrest. And you are going to lift your knees nice and high. As many as you can in the 30 seconds. If you are standing, same sort of thing, so just marching on the spot, getting those hips awake and starting to get the blood pumping. So in three, two, one, 30 seconds, off we go. Start off with a slightly smaller move if you need to. So far the antlers are doing well. So, and build up the move. Hello bubble lady. I can see the bubbles. Build up the move to a bigger move if you can. This is the start of our warm up, so nice and steady. This is just getting the body used to the moves. There we go, there's your time. And starting to get our heart rate and our breathing rate up. Now, one of the things I should have told you in my preamble is that because it's Fitness Friday, I'm sure you all know but we'll be doing shadow boxing in between each of the exercises. So if you are seated, then shadow boxing, twisting through your body. So it's not just arms, 
we're actually using the muscles in your tummy as well to twist through and punch and if you are standing the same sort of thing so we're twisting through our body and through our hips if you can move your feet move your feet your job is to get out of breath so however that happens that's what we're going to do 30 seconds oh my antlers just got attacked by my boxing gloves don't step too far back don't want to lose my antlers are you ready three two one away we go so we are shadow boxing light on our feet if we can punching aiming for your target remember this is only the first round so we're going to take it reasonably steady but twisting through the body trying to use the hips as well i'm ready for the criticism that i'm going to get about my shadow boxing technique i am sure karen and sarah will have something to say i am trying to use my hips there we go there's time so next one shoulder rolls again seated or standing it doesn't matter exactly the same move so we're going to move our shoulders up and back and down as big a move as you can do so arms involved if you can squeezing your shoulder blades on your back chest as your arms come back and round and down if you have one arm that's not as good then shoulder roll as much as you can and use the other arm in three two one away we go so big moves through your shoulders using your arms if you can getting your shoulders awake using the muscles in your upper back as many as you can do in the 30 seconds really good for your posture this one and really good for working those muscles in our upper back well done okay my shoulders feel better already so shadow boxing we're going to do this one seated so we're going to keep the pace up a little bit now because we want to get out of breath and stay out of breath are you ready three two one away we go so if you are seated you can still get out of breath by working hard fast hands and twisting through the body so it doesn't matter that you are seated we can still work hard if you are standing keep that body moving keep your feet moving if you can definitely keep your hands moving so fast punches well done 30 seconds might have to take my sweatshirt off because I'm getting a bit warm it's all right blue you don't have to get up there we go right I am back where are we up to knee bends so if you're seated we are now waking our knees up so kicking your feet out to get as much movement through your knees as you can don't forget sitting nice and tall using the muscles in the front of your thighs if you are standing we are kicking our heels back to kick our bottoms so again we might need to move our, well, we will need to move our weight from side to side it's going to test your balance a little bit so use support if you need to but do as many as you could do in the time in three two one away we go so let's see if we can up the pace a little bit of this one so that you are getting your heart rate up keeping your heart rate up and getting out of breath so as many as you can do if the move needs to be a little bit smaller then fine but you can still keep the pace up don't forget have some support if you need it okay there's our 30 seconds straight into shadow boxing no rest now because we're getting warm three two one away we go so we are going to punch moving on our feet if we can and aiming for your target so aim for imagine somebody that you might want to punch really hard i can't imagine who that might be picture in my head oh my antlers are wobbling so move through your feet if you can even if 
you keep that back foot still and you move that front foot. So you've got some stability, but you are moving through that front foot. Do as much as you can. Just stabilize my antlers. Twisty Sarahs. Notice how I say twisty and not twisted. I think there's a subtle difference. However, seated or standing, twisting through our upper spine, all the way around one way and all the way around the other way. So, making sure you're twisting through your body, our spine should move. In three, two, one, go. You can do these standing, it's exactly the same move. Focus on getting your shoulder as far forward as you can and you need to be sitting or standing tall to do these. If you are slumped down, you are not gonna get as much movement. And our spine should move. And this is a really good way of looking after that movement and making sure it doesn't stiffen up, which is when you get some aches and pains. Okay, shadow boxing. I think I'm seated on this one, aren't I? So don't forget if you're on your feet, See if you can move your feet as well. In three, two, one, away we go. So, twisting through the body, using the muscles in your belly and your back to support you, and fast hands, fast punches. See if you can snap that punch back. Imagine you've got somebody in front of you that you wanna punch really hard. And if they're standing there, it will be in their belly. You want to make them step back. So I was going to say something else then and I changed my mind. I don't think it would have sounded very good. And I managed to um, contain myself. Where are we up to? Double tap. So if you are seated, sitting nice and tall, knee comes up to hand on each side if you can. Knee comes up as high as you can, staying sitting upright all the way through the move. Knee comes up to hand if you are standing. Now a bigger move means it's also gonna test your balance. If you need the move to be a little bit lower, then that's fine as long as you keep the pace up. Don't forget, make sure you've got some support in case you need it. Three, two, one, away we go. So knee comes up to the hand, shifting that body weight from one side to the other so that you are regaining your balance and wobbling. We all know about wobbling. As high a move as you can do, as big a move as you can do, but focus on what you can do, and the aim is to stay out of breath. So keeping going, there we go. That's the end of that one. And then straight into shadow boxing. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So. We're moving through our feet if we can, and we are aiming for that target. Twisting through the body, using your hips. The power comes from your hips. I know this, but I also know I am much better if I've either got a netball in my hand, and I'm actually throwing the ball, or I've got a punch bag or a person to actually physically hit. But actually, it doesn't matter because I'm getting out of breath, and that's what it's all about. Ah, right, next one. Exercise of the week. Oh, no, I did set it up. I was going to do the rugby pass again, because I couldn't work out a way of anchoring my band. But we're doing the band punch. So I have my band anchored behind me securely. I'm gonna sit nice and tall just because the height of my band anchor, be really careful how you say that, is better for me sitting. If you can anchor your band a little higher, then standing is also fine. So, and we are gonna twist and punch. I think I'm doing this right. I actually can't quite remember, but I'm sure we can manage to twist and punch. If it's not exactly the same as the exercise of the week Karen showed you on Tuesday, apologies, but it's not the rugby pass that we did yesterday. And it doesn't really matter, but we're gonna do it. 
now in three two one go so we're going to twist and punch twisting all the way round and punching under control so that our arm stays parallel to the floor and we return under control so it's control all the way through the move and you're going to be using your belly to twist around and you're going to be using the rest of the muscles in your core to stay nice and tall standing or sitting tall that's your 30 seconds on one side swap hands if you can if you have one side that is not as good as the other do what you can on the other side i just need to move a little bit i'm sitting in the gap um, do what you can or repeat on your good side i need to press my button are we ready three two one so twisting round and punching out and return the further away you are from the band anchor point the harder this will be keep breathing I apologize if you can hear blue snoring can you hear him he's gone a bit quiet I was just giving you the opportunity to hear him when he starts snoring again I'll just go quiet and you can listen because it's quite funny right um, shadow boxing again are we ready three two one away we go I'm laughing at you blue and you're snoring twisting through that body moving through your feet if you can keeping that back foot still if you have to but seeing how much light on your feet relax through your knees and your hips if you are relaxed you'll be able to work a little bit harder because your muscles will not be tense getting out of breath that's what we're aiming for so make the punches fast okay that's another 30 seconds um, right oh bendy Anna's can't remember where we were up to bendy Anna's I'm doing it Sarah so we're getting twisty Sarah's and bendy Anna's we need to have a Karen version comments please for as many um, a Karen version of the exercise I think we can think about that okay so reaching down one side and down the other side and up and over with the arm oh without no knocking your antlers off if you can seated or standing in three two one away we go so reaching over again moving through our spine sitting or standing nice and tall and really stretching over to get as much bend as you can like what I'm doing <laughs> I can't I can see some comments coming in but I, I can't read them so I'm not gonna get distracted I'm gonna concentrate on my bendy Annas oh there we go seated for shadow boxing shadow boxing again we're gonna crack on are we ready in three two one go so oh ho, ho, my shoulder just cracked that was like a gunshot you probably couldn't hear it but I said it was so loud Lord alone knows what was going on in my shoulder so punching twisting through the body making sure we're getting out of breath so keep working hard fast hands light on your feet if you're doing these standing blue's fast asleep fast asleep on his mat there we go sorted right next one <laughs> sit and stand oh don't rack your antlers on the punch bag um so if you are seated and you can stand now is time to stand feet as close to you as you can weight forwards using your legs push down through your feet and standing tall at the top and then sitting back down under control as many times as you can do so you can start to work on that now if you are standing squats so think of weight back and down knees wide so bottom goes back to that imaginary chair back stays nice and flat we don't want any of this we need our back nice and flat so chest up and standing tall at the top 
We're doing as many as we can in three, two, one, away we go. So knees stay nice and wide, feet stay apart and flat on the floor and go as low as you can go. If the move needs to be a little bit higher, so a bit of a smaller move, you are still working your legs and if that takes the pressure off your knees, that's absolutely fine. Sending your weight backwards also takes the pressure off your knees and think of standing nice and tall at the top. Okay, really good for leg strength. Are we ready? Shadow boxing. In three, two, one, away we go. So, we should be lovely and warm now. So really think of fast hands and twisting through those hips. Think of really sending that punch as hard as you can. And you can change your feet if you want to. And if you can, you can move sideways, you can move forwards. It's a bit scary, I won't do that anymore. Okay, so definitely gets your heart rate up. Ankle mobility. So if you are seated, heel to the floor, toe to the floor, on both sides. A nice deliberate move through the ankle joint. As much movement through the ankle as you possibly can. If you are standing, let's move the bench out of the way. We are doing a tightrope walk. So heel, toe, heel, toe. I might have to just adjust my head. And um, as much movement through your ankles as you possibly can. This is going to test your balance. The closer your feet are to that tightrope on the floor, the harder it will work your balance. The wider your feet are, the more stable you will be. Use support if you need to. Length of a work surface or a person. You see, in our world, people are not like walls. Sarah and I know this, not like Karen. Anyway, stop wittering and get on with it. So, heel toe, just watch my antlers. Heel toe, forgive my wonkiness whilst I just get past the antlers. Use your arms if you need to. So, to help you wobble, heel toe, heel toe, all the way. Here we go, and I'm going to go backwards now. Toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. I can see you, bubble lady. All the way back, and remember. Second time is better. So we're going to do it again. Oh, just to avoid my antlers being ripped off my head. Okay, I am back in the corner. Where I belong, I hear you say. So heel toe, second time. <laughs> heel toe. I can't believe Blue is sleeping through all of this. I'm back for my second close up. There we go, and then backwards again. Toe, heel, all the way. Remember, second time is better. We know this. Nice wobbling, relax through the rest of your body. Okay, oh, I missed my antlers that time, that's good. Oh, I just read the message on my board. I won't read what it says. It's a rude message. Okay, we need the bench back. Shadow boxing. I think I'm seated for these. So are you ready? In three, two, one, away we go. Twisting through the body. So your heart rate might have come down a little bit now because the heel toe ankle mobility is not really working through your heart and lungs. So a bit of an active recovery. So now we need to work extra hard to get that heart rate and your breathing rate back up. So twisting through the butt as much as you can. Making sure, nice fast hands, brilliant. Well done, where are we up to? Ha, fast feet. We're not doing 30 seconds of those. Most definitely not. So let's just, what should we do today? We did 12 seconds last week. Let's do another 12. 12 seconds of fast feet because we're on it. 
So if you are seated, running on the spot, again, sitting nice and tall and as fast as you can go with your feet. If you are standing, it's T-Rex arms time on your floor, on the floor, running on the spot as fast as you can. So, just 12 seconds worth and we're going to do it twice. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So as fast as you can go. Karen tried to go extra super fast yesterday. I'm doing my best. My T-Rex arms, my thumbs are sticking up, I know. Okay, 12 seconds worth. So my heart rate is definitely getting up there. So we're gonna do it again and see if we can go a tiny bit faster. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, here we go. As fast as we can go for the 10. Oh no, 12 seconds. Don't miss the last two seconds. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Keep going as fast as you can go. Well done. And to finish off, three rounds of shadow boxing. So you've got a bit of a breather whilst I shift the timer back up to 30 seconds because we're going for it. So are you ready? We are going to do the first, I'm going to do the first one standing. doesn't matter whether you're seated or standing. Work as hard as you can, focusing on staying out of breath. This is the final bit. Three rounds of this and then we're done and you can relax. Are you ready? Three, two, one, away we go. So, light on your feet, if you can, using your hips. You can punch to the head, you can punch to the belly, but fast hands, you can swap your feet and punch on the other side. If you want to, you can keep that back foot still if you need to, or you can keep your feet still and just punch fast hands and twisting through the body still. Well done. It doesn't matter as long as you're doing the best that you can do and your heart rate is up there. You can hear my breathing. So work as hard as you can to get out of breath and stay out of breath. I'm going to do this one seated. In three, two, one, round two. So, as ever, fast hands and aim for your target, twisting through your body as well as just moving your arms. You don't have to extend totally, don't want you to hurt your elbows, so you can do hooks, uppercuts, keeping your elbows slightly bent, you can do elbow strikes actually, there's nothing quite as satisfying as an elbow strike. Apart from a kick, kicks are good, but if we're seated, anyway, I digress. Last round, are you ready for the final burst? Keeping that heart rate up, work as hard as you can. I'm absolutely amazed these have stayed on my head. In three, two, one, go. Oh, press the button. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Press the wrong button and it's decided to change itself. In three, two, one, go. Oh, you got a bit of an extra sneaky rest. So you can work extra sneakily hard in this last round, twisting through the body. One, two, three, four punches. Change feet if you can, or keeping your feet still, you can still twist through the hips, punching hard, aiming at your target, keeping Breathing, don't forget to do that. That's quite important. I was just gonna change hands, but that's time. Well done, everybody. So, now we just need to let your heart rate settle. Let your breathing rate come back down. So, just relax, have a breather, nice and steady, and let everything return to normal. Hopefully you feel a little bit more awake, a little bit more alive. You might have had a bit of a laugh, probably at me, but that's okay. I don't mind. Um, don't forget, check out the web website um, for the archive of videos. So you can do, obviously, every day, we're here at 11 o'clock, every weekday. 
and you can do the sessions live with us, which we love. We love having you here with us. And um, you can also go back and revisit some of the archive of videos that we've been doing since March. That seems a long time ago, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, so if you chose to do a different session, for example, this afternoon, we wouldn't discourage you. And you might be able to do one over the weekend as well. Um, go and have a look at the website, www.reesfitness.co.uk forward slash get moving. Also, um, you can have a look at the kit list on there. We've used bands today. We use the um, balls as well, the soft squishy balls. So um, you can have a look for some ideas for kit that you can use at home just to um, help you with your movement and exercise. And please do share. If this is helping you, then um, we've actually got people from all over the world, which is fantastic. Um, but there will be lots of people that don't know or think they can't do exercise for whatever reason. It might be because they are living with um, a medical condition and they don't know how to do it safely. Or maybe they're pre or post operation. Or maybe they just don't move as well as they would like to. And we know that doing something is better than doing nothing. And if you do it with other people, it's always more fun. So please do share, get moving, and encourage your friends, your family, your neighbours, um, strangers to join in and have a go. Um, having a try builds up confidence and we know, because you tell us, that you feel better for moving. I know I certainly do. Um, so that's, uh, oh, and the only other thing uh, to remind you, oh, a couple of things actually, to remind you of is, um, Please donate if you can for Kerin. Um, this is, I know I'm not Kerin, but this is how he earns his living um, with a bit of help from the Fast Fingers elves. Um, so um, please do don donate if you can. There is no obligation to. If you feel that you can, then it is really appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, just in case I don't see you uh, before Christmas next week, I'm not too sure who's doing what next week, so, but just in case I don't see you, have as enjoyable a Christmas as you can have, I know it's all a bit different this year um, with restrictions, stay safe and um, have as good a Christmas as you can and we will be back in, um, well we're back next week, I'm not finishing too early, but we'll be back um, after Christmas as well. We'll let you know what's happening, have a look on the website and on the group and all of that malarkey. Um, so I think that's enough of my witchery. You want to go and get your cup of tea and your mince pie now. So um, have a lovely rest of your Friday, have a fabulous weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Lots of love, bye. And Blue didn't interrupt us. I'm very, very impressed. You want to just check